Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're looking at 2020 and what it means to today's musicians. See you in the future! If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Ten years ago, the website CNET.com ran an article by Matt Rosoff titled, 10 Music Tech Trends That Will Shape the Next Decade. Link in the video description. I stumbled upon this article while researching upcoming trends in music technology. This got me thinking about what the next decade might bring for those of us that actually make the music. Among the predictions listed in the article about the upcoming decade were topics such as, will the original iPod become the object of fetishization in 2020 like vinyl records are today? The only shows that will pack large arenas will be festivals. Microsoft SkyDrive, which doesn't even exist anymore, already offers 25 gigabytes of online storage. I could easily see that increasing 100-fold by 2020. Nope. Obviously, it's not easy to predict the future. There are, however, some trends emerging that are reshaping the music industry. Recording studios are seeing a lot more teenagers writing, producing, and even engineering their own songs. Apps like TikTok are allowing fans to interact with artists and other fans in a way never seen before. If you're old like me and don't know what a TikTok is, there's a link in the description. Even artificial intelligence, or AI, is getting into the act. This year saw Endel, a data collection app that creates mood music based on its listeners' preferences. Endel became the first AI to be signed to a major record label, Warner Brothers to be precise. Coupled with Hatsune Miku, a Japanese virtual pop star that is really a voice synthesizer connected to over 100,000 songs, this rise of musical AI certainly seems like a harbinger of doom for the... Uh, old way of doing things. While the future remains uncertain for the singer-songwriter of yesteryear, I believe there will still be a place for musicians that play their own instruments and sing their own songs. The only question is, what methods will be used to get that music to the masses? Stay tuned! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll like, share, and subscribe. If you uh, have any technology that you're currently using, please drop a comment so we can all share the wealth. In the meantime, if you want to see any other videos like this, please click here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click here. Don't forget to ring that bell. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.